Hi. <clears throat> uh, so, I thought I'd uh, do a little video on my first ever gun that I got. Uh, I got this 2000, Christmas 2009. Um, it is one of my most prized possessions next to my 44 here. Uh, this was the first gun I bought myself, also first pistol, and this is my first ever rifle. So, um, I thought I'd bring this out. Uh, now, of course, you should expect most first rifles are small. This is a Marlin 22. Um, my parents bought it brand new up at Bass Pro, Harrisburg. Um, it was $215. Um, I know the prices because I go up there and look around quite a bit. But uh, I bought this as an aftermarket product. Uh, it's a little bipod. It goes about three to six inches tall. Uh, it's really nice. I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, don't get upset for me for dry firing it. Um, I know there's nothing in it. I double check a thousand times. I'm 100% sure. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, this is a Marlin tw uh, 22 98.1T uh, model. Uh, if I'm gonna, I kind of put this, decide to do this to uh, get a uh, suggest, put out a suggestion for uh, a, a good, good first gun for uh, your kid. Um, your kid is just getting into shooting, really likes guns, um, tell you what, it's good to get them, start them early, uh, start them with a small gun too, 22, uh, when they get a little bit older, uh, probably around 12, or, well, maybe if you, your, your decision, I guess, I would recommend maybe 12 or 13, uh, start them getting a little bit bigger guns, no big deal, um, but I gradually get into it, you know, and then, uh, if they decide, if, uh, you start mentioning, like, reloading or something, you start doing that, then, uh, but, uh, I would highly suggest the Marlin 22 98-1T, uh, it's a good, it's a good rifle, um, it's about three feet long, uh, I think, yeah, about, um, but, uh, yeah, and then I'll put a BB gun scope on here, uh, yeah, uh, but it, it, I'll tell you what, it's it's dead on. Uh, I shot, I, I shoot BB or soda caps, uh, uh, 30, 35 yards away, um, and it's, it's dead on, so, uh, you know, get your kid really into this stuff, I mean, this is, it's, it's a bolt action, so, I mean, uh, it's very easy to use, you know, uh, kids shouldn't have any trouble with it, the bolt's fairly f free flowing all the time, uh, make sure you keep it well oiled, though, um, I'm gonna recommend 3-in-1 oil for it, uh, after cleaning it though and everything, wipe the barrel down with three in one oil. Keeps it from rusting. Um, so, uh, but I mean, it's. I'll tell you what. For those of you who do shoot a lot and you have a Remington 700, this kind of this really reminds me of one. Um, smaller version, a lot smaller version. Uh, but I mean, it's somewhat physical features, I guess. Besides the uh, magazine tube on the bottom. Uh, you know, it, it kind of, you know, but, uh, it, it's not completely right on, but I'll tell you what, it's nice, uh, it's a really nice sniper, or not sniper, uh, re re really nice little rifle, um, your kid would really like it, um, and they'd probably really love you for it, too, if they're into guns, um, I know I got excited when I first got this, so, uh, <laughs> it's, a uh, Simple action, bolt, uh, cocks on the opening, so, as you can see, right back here is the bolt, cock it up, this thing pulls back, and, uh, uh, tell you what, I, I'm waiting for a company to make a new rifle, where it's just like the Lee Enfield SMLE, for those of you who are aware, or familiar with it, uh, it is one of the only, and I believe, I, I believe it's the only, uh, rifle that has a different load or a cocking action than almost any, than anything else. I mean all of them use the same. That cocks it for the any other rifle. For an S uh, Lee Enfield, when you push it up, it's cocked. 
and then it's the way the reason why I want something like that is because it's Lee Enfield is the fastest shooting bolt action rifle uh, in the world. Uh, you can shoot anywhere from 30 to 40 rounds a minute with it, uh, depending on how fast you are with reloading too, and if you're an experienced shooter. Uh, regular bolt action like this, uh, you can get anywhere from 20 to 25 because that bolt there, uh, the the cocking can slow you down, and um, it's sometimes you get bolt lock. Uh, it depends on what kind of rifle you're using, though. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, so I mean that's. I'm waiting for someone to make another one like that, but, I mean, you know, you got your safety here. Actually, when you pull back on save, though, it's kind of as if a spring pulls it to safety, so that, uh, it doesn't, you know, yeah, uh, excuse me, uh, and then, uh, gotta push it forward, a little bit, no spring at all, you actually have to push it all the way forward, spring coming back, push it forward, spring forward, yeah, anyway, but, uh, that's the basics to it, um, very easy to use, I'll tell you mine's dead on. I shoot this thing all the time, it's very cheap. $250 for the rifle. If you want the bipod, it's an extra 15. Scopes. Look them up, I don't know. I just got this little BB gun in my garage. Still dead on though. Uh, your kid really won't know the difference if he's young. Or if she is young. Uh, they do come in pink, I believe. There's a lot of aftermarket products for the more expensive ones. Uh, my brother has a, uh, my older brother has a, a semi-automatic 22. Um, he bought the cheapest one in the store uh, for a hundred dollars, and there is absolutely no aftermarket products for it. You, you can't even buy an extra magazine for it. So um, he made the bad decision on that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can get you can get aftermarket socks for it. Um, you can get whole multiple different types of scopes and stuff. There's actually uh, uh, rail screws on here, so you can put a rail on it. Um, you know everything on it. You, you can almost put a, almost anything on this rifle. Uh, that's how aftermarket it is, uh, I guess you could say. But, uh, uh, tell you what, you spend a little bit more money on it, your kid's gonna have a little bit more fun with it because you can put more stuff on it, such as lasers, lights, iPods, scope, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, and those of you who have a daughter and you wanna give them a gun, they do come in pink stocks. You can buy aftermarket stocks for them like that, but otherwise they come in the uh, carbon fiber gray. Um, and then the blue barrel. I don't know that you can get it in any other color, but that's about it. So uh, it comes with standard iron sights to it, adjustable. Uh, mine kind of shoots down to the right just a tad bit. Um, I'm not going to bother with shoot, uh, adjusting it, but. It's a good rifle for your kid. First, good first rifle. Uh, so, that's what I'm suggesting to it. But, uh, yeah. I'm working on trying to get a sling for it, though. But, but yeah, so, uh, that's about all I can tell you for this. Uh, Marlin 22. Is it 981T? Good model. Um, good rifle. Ammo is really cheap. 15 bucks for a thousand rounds, or 500 rounds. I mean, I go out and shoot a lot of, I mean, we, we go through half a box each time we go out, so, I mean, and that's mainly because we have two semi-autos, so, um, yeah, so, alright, well, I guess I'll do a video on one of the semi-autos, or maybe both of them, so, um, thank you, um, subscribe if you like.